to gain practical experience in the data analytics field, real-world projects in data analytics are very much essential. Not just that, projects are one of the most important aspects recruiters focus on and you should too. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, top 10 data analytics projects that are very crucial for your portfolio and must be there on your resume as well. On this note, let's begin. Our first project is customer segmentation analysis. This project aims to identify different groups of customers with similar needs and behaviors so that companies can tailor their marketing approach to them. Today, over 60% of companies are inclined towards customer segmentation. For example, big luxury car manufacturer like Rolls-Royce often use luxury-centric segmentation analysis to segment their top customers. For customer segmentation, here's a list of projects on GitHub. Let's say you pick up this one, you may take something else too. So the main idea is to do a project on this larger topic. In this analysis, the customer segment was divided into 11 groups. Uh, then you determine which customer segment should be targeted in order to enhance sales revenue for the company. A sales dashboard for uh, customer segmentation is also developed using Tableau and analysis is done using Python. Our next project is sales forecasting analysis. This project estimates the revenue the company expects to earn, how the company is going to perform over a pre-decided period, which is usually one year. As per HubSpot's research, more than 85% of B2B companies use sales forecasting. Not just that, companies like Big Mart, Amazon, and Flipkart rely heavily on sales and revenue forecasting to manage inventory and uh, plan production and pricing strategies. For sales analysis from this list of projects, let's say we are taking this one. In this, we figure out uh, popular product categories and popular products within these categories. We also find uh, what customers uh, feel about the product this is an important factor to forecast sales of the specific product. Our next project is churn prediction analysis. More often than not, businesses need to predict whether customers will likely cancel their subscription or draw up a service, also known as churn. So the churn prediction analysis aims to identify customers at the risk of churning so companies can actively retain them. For example, companies like Spotify, Netflix used to predict which clients are uh, most likely to cancel a subscription. Not just that, it is a vital tool for uh, telecom companies, banks, credit card firms as well. For this analysis, we'll take uh, this telecom churn prediction project, but you are free to take uh, anything else from the list. Based on our analysis, we find the percentage of churn customers and uh, customers that uh, keep in with the active services. Then we analyze the data in terms of various features responsible for customer churn. Then we find uh, a most suited machine learning model for correct classification of churn and known churn customers. The next one on our list of analytics projects deals with fraud detection. Fraud detection analysis aims to prevent financial losses and protect businesses and customers from fraud. For example, PayPal uses the manual review processes to investigate suspicious transactions and verify user identities. We'll be taking this project. You may choose something else from the list as well. In this project, we have something called blocker fraud by a certain company, which guarantees the blocking of fraudulent transactions and returns money if it doesn't. It is now expanding in Brazil. Now, as a data analyst, you have to see how good the model is in detecting fraud and how much revenue it will make while expanding into a new country like Brazil. Our next project is social media sentiment analysis. A vast number of people are using uh, social media to voice their opinions and concerns. So many companies undertake uh, sentiment analysis to ensure their platforms are safe and sound for society. For example, social media giants like uh, Facebook, Instagram, etc. use data analytics to analyze sentiments. We'll take this uh, project where uh, we do a sentiment analysis of Facebook comments. Using data analysis, one can uh, input any sentence, then the program analyzes your sentence. Thereafter, it returns a result that is how much percent of positive, negative, or neutral the sentiment is. This will be applied to Facebook comments and uh, give a real-time analysis on the comments. This next project is about website user behavior analysis. The major aim of this project is to understand user behavior more deeply, discover pain points, and tailor a better performing uh, customer experience. Tech companies like Google, Microsoft, and uh, medical research companies like Mayo Clinic use data analytics for such work. This project aims to analyze user views and retention on this website. The website consists of uh, nine pages, home, about, blog, partnership, outlets, reservations, event, and menu. 
uh, the analysis will focus on all pages to identify user behaviors and retention. The most popular page menu followed by outlets. Our next project, Inventory Optimization Analysis, requires an advanced level of expertise. The goal of inventory optimization analysis is to collect and analyze data on inventory levels, sales trends, lead time, and other relevant factors. Simply put, the aim is to ensure the right products are in stock when uh, needed. E-commerce companies like Amazon, Mintra, Nika, etc. use data analytics to maintain their huge inventories across the country. We'll take this project uh, out of this uh, list of projects. After analyzing this data set, uh, various recommendations are given like what efforts should uh, be made to optimize production according to demand, thereby increasing stock turn rate and uh, better uh, industry performance. Our next project is employee performance analysis. The goal of employee performance analysis is a process of uh, analyzing employees' data to identify patterns and trends that can help improve employee productivity, engagement, and retention. Any business organization wants to increase their productivity, hire analysts to figure out what factors are good for their employees and will retain them. We'll be taking this project for employee performance analysis. We use data analysis to find the important features that are positively correlated with environment satisfaction, last salary hike percentage, and work-life balance. On the other hand, the features that are negatively correlated are years since last promotion, experience years at uh, this company, experience years in current role, and years with current manager. The analysis concludes and recommends that uh, the company should provide a better environment as it increases the performance drastically. Our next product recommendation analysis aims at collecting and analyzing data on customer behavior such as purchase history, browsing history, product rating, and reviews, and recommending users uh, various products and services. It has been researched that over 71% of uh, e-commerce websites now offer recommendations about a comprehensive uh, review of historical website data. We are taking on this project. The input data set is Amazon data set on user ratings for electronic products. The output is to recommend products with the highest number of ratings and uh, target new customers with the most popular products. This project helps in improving the overall shopping experience for users, increase sales of e-commerce business, etc. The final project in our list is Supply Chain Management Analysis. It involves the planning, execution, and monitoring of the movement of uh, goods and services from suppliers to customers. The main idea of this project is to study all the factors in supply chain management and uh, see how each factor affects the chain. For example, PepsiCo utilizes uh, predictive analytics to manage its supply chain. We are taking this project from the list. As usual, you are uh, free to choose uh, anything else. In our chosen project, we build a model which goes through various factors like different transportation options such as trucks, airplanes and ships, cost of fuel, the time it takes to transport the goods and the amount of goods that need to be transported. Based on these factors, the model provides a set of optimal routes for all goods that uh, minimize the overall cost. So there you have it. These 10 data analytics projects are a must have in your portfolio. And in case you have uh, more projects as suggestions, let us know in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting uh, content in the field of data tech. See you in the next video. Bye.